Hello everyone, welcome to Alina's Fashion. I'm so glad you stopped by. Yeah, we showcase beauty. We do everything to make you appear classic, okay? So please subscribe to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about this beautiful gown, okay? This flock gown. So if you're just seeing my channel, subscribe. Okay, so I folded it into four. This is the center and this is the side. You can see this up to four pieces okay so i folded it into four and then the measurement i took for this bang and blouse this blouse is um 21 inches by 17 inches length okay the the width is 21 inches so i'm coming down by nine inches for the sleeve opening I'll just mark it like so nine inches okay then I'll come in also by five inches for the sleeve itself five inches as you can see okay so I'm just going to roll it down like this and cut it out so this is it so I'm just going to be covering the sleeve like this so after covering it basically I'll just cut the top part also i cut this out i cut the top part and then i'm going to be folding and sewing just fold and sew all these parts that i'm that i've cut out the sleeve and also the neckline i'm going to sew this part down to attach to the blouse of the the skirt or in the gown so just watch how i'm going to do it i'm going to be cutting this out right now okay after cutting i'm going to open it up into two so that i'll have like two pieces for the front and the back so here it is i've opened it up okay so this is how it is this is for the front this is for the back so what i'm going to be doing now is to be folding this the neckline like so because the sleeve fold everything like so pin it down and then sew it after sewing it i will cut the the frock part and then attach to this you see how i'll do it to turn out to be beautiful okay so the sleeve is not like your regular sleeve so there's something i'm going to do so just keep watching to see how i'm going to be doing it so i'll just pin it down like so take it to the sewing machine and so please if you are new to my channel you can subscribe if you're an or if you subscribe before please don't don't click the button again because you're going to unsubscribe <laughs> so please fold it like so so i'm going to be sewing this down so this is the sleeve okay i'm sewing it like so and I've also sewed the neckline. I've sewn the neckline already. So this is it. So this is the neckline. I've sewn it like this. So I'm going to be sewing the sleeve. Okay, so you just place it like this as is as you can see i'm going to be folding it to get the middle or the center of this blouse okay so to get the center of this blouse i just fold it to make it easier okay so from the center i'm going to be measuring six inches for the, the neckline i'm going to be measuring six inches for the neckline then for the shoulder part i'm just going to be stitching a little part of it then the sleeve will just be an open sleeve there after that so this is the six inches that i've measured okay you can make you can take however you want either 6.5 or 6 inches so i'm using 6.5 inches or you can still use 6 inches depends on you so i'm using 6.5 so I've marked it so like so so this part I'm going to be pinning like four inches I'm going to be pinning it down so as you can see I've sewn it okay this is the way I sew it okay this is the the sleeve opening 
and i've sewn this part also down to the waist okay so right now i'm going to be attaching the i'm going to be cutting the down part that is the frog part okay so this is the part i'm going to be cutting this is 58 by 40 58 inches okay by 40 inches length so i'm going to be folding it by own bias i've done this before in my wrap skirt if you've not watched the video please go and look for it my wrapper skirt or my wrap skirt i'll fold this on the bias like so i carry the open part and i made it to the center that is the folded part of the fabric like this and then i'm going to be I'm going to be measuring my waist measurement from the blouse. So my waist measurement is 13 inches. So I'm measuring 13 inches here. You know that blouse I sewed the measurement. Okay, so I'm taking 13 inches like so. And then from that 13 inches, I'm going to be taking my full length for the skate. That is for the attachment to be 30 inches. So from that mark point, I'm going to be marking 30 inches round. The parts that need augment, I'm going to augment it. After that, I'm going to be sewing the 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 parts that need to be sewn, like this part. You know, it's not up to tight. I'm going to attach some other fabric to it. Then I'm going to be sewing the hem. Just fold it round, okay? After cutting, you fold the hem also and sew. Then I'll sew the back of the skirt also just so the back so the next step okay is to just make sure that all these parts are sewn this is the hem of the skirt as you can see it's turned out to be beautiful so this is the top the upper part of this the dress i'm going to, so just pick your center front and attach to the center front of the 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 lower part that is this part of the skirt or the frock pick your center back this is the part i've sewn for the back okay this is where i joined the the bias cutting so i'm going to be attaching it to the back of this so i'll pin it down and then sew it round so this is the belt i'm making for the blouse this belt just make it so that it will give your blouse the shape that you need the blouse has turned out to be very beautiful. Oh, I'm so loving this particular frock gown. It's so unique and different. So yeah, it is. Wow, so beautiful. Look at the neckline. Look at the shape. Look at the skirt. Oh, it's not the skirt though. It's an attachment to the gown. So it's so beautiful. And look at the belt I used. Look at the opening. Oh my gosh. Also, this is how it is for the shoulder parts. Very fine. So as I said before, this is a unique kind of dress. You love it. So this is the opening for the dress. So this is it. Subscribe to Alina's Fashion. I love you.